Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 29 of Days Gone. Continuing on with the story because of course it didn't stop. No. Hope you guys no, are liking it. Let you know how much I needed this. <laughs> I think my cat doesn't like me like it when I record. Whenever I do, she always goes and lays by the door. She was literally just laying right behind me for a second. But yeah, no. Hey there. Okay, it's not allowed in here. I'm going to hey, refill hey, on ammo. Hey, hey. I've got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out of here? Is that a revolver? Actually, yeah. On a uh, fucking rifle? From Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? That's Let me weird. Tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns, I Got Guns dot com. Jesus, holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a you had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out of the way gun shows, free markets, shit like that. I guess this is about as out of the way as it gets. I guess it isn't that, huh? Yeah. All right. Um. Hey, oh, oh, shut the around, fuck up, yeah. dudes. Where, where are we going? Story. Um, that's this way. How long is this game? Because I actually don't know when it's gonna yeah, end. Can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job. I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need the dock a little bit? How's the ear? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking looking, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit's tight. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell us much. Mr. Asbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you wanna come out? Serious? You wanna go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. Well, let's go. go I got on. my fans on, sorry. Ah. Sorry if it bothers you. Going someplace? Just turned one off. Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go and go some No, down. no. I don't think so. Coronel? No entiendo. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be the fight. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the ship before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do with you. Are they gay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that as a joke, obviously. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I like how the bags keep rolling off the fire. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Plum. I think you can't get what I need there. You Really? Yeah, as old as that. Over there. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way of the mountains. Yeah, right. That would be impossible. Do you know where I'm or don't you? No. Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. 
No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not a murder. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Press one. Back up. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. Please say thank you one more time. I... Been a while. That's good, because I honestly thought they were straining away from each other, kind of thing. I should have got that narrow checkpoint while I was at that place. Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How is your work progressing? Good. Good, with deep... Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before me. You know that I can handle myself. As she was traumatized last time, and he won't let the doctor out, but the doctor is a little more understandable. I'd like to see you do this. All right, let's go. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. Yeah, How? that was when the army was a All thing. The more people in the world, I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. Can I make it up? Nope. Oh, Sarah! Sarah died. What the fuck? I guess she landed on her neck on that rock. <laughs> I thought I could make it up to the road, but I gotta stop acting like this is like GTA kind of crap. I'm not as bouncy. Cars actually have physics in this game. I've noticed that with GTA, things tend to slide around lots and like you just bounce off of shit. Like, it's pretty bouncy. It's Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless. All right, all right. let's not mess hey, up you're in this the time. Army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. Of course you did. used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a bear oh, problem. Oh, fuck. Bear problems? Yeah, I had to kill a bear. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! We have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, man. He was giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going over. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. 
I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, that's fine, buddy. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Yeah, it looks uh, nice. Yeah, I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. Right. I gotta be honest. Saw that coming. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept yeah. you going? You, Back bitch. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way, and then I found out that, that you were still alive, and that, that's, that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are going to get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Yeah, or both of us. I haven't been controlling this close, whole time. Right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. This is where some hordes would were. Yeah, I think. But it's cool. We're going back over the mountain. Oh, I guess it, she's never seen rippers. What's a ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, uh, you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? Kill them. Yeah, kill them. You can help me with this or what? Yeah, sure. I hate how I barely have to touch the fucking digital pad. Not the digital pad, the fucking like touch pad. That was weird. Did you see that? Fucking, I barely have to touch it and it will pause the game. Of course, they have to let me drive now. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder Ow. everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel. Up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Hey, her research place. Here we go. Clover to wait. Cloverdale, I've heard that. Isn't that a movie? I feel like there's a movie or something. Cloverdale. It's a horror movie. Or like a thriller, maybe. I don't know. I, I remember an old friend talking about it. Talking about like a creature. Cloverdale, like a creature having to do with Cloverdale. Wow. 
never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear power generator that I never saw. A nuclear power generator, okay, well, eh? How the hell are we gonna get in? I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Yeah, she Sarah, should I still be allowed in. I think it's been a little longer than that. Food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self automated. So as long as the power is on, this is self sustaining. That's amazing. This place has everything. It's and it would give food. itself it's got fertilizer. Water, it's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised I mean, it. Can't doubt it. It's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. And now it's ours. <gasps> See? Come on. Eight thousand volts, that's a lot. That would kill like anything that would touch that fence. I think. I don't know. I shouldn't really say things like that because I don't know hundred percent. Fuck, my thing fell over. I got a Yo Can Evolve Plus over the weekend. See if birds got the disease like in this game they did, that would be terrifying because if it did tr travel from a single scratch, like you'd be fucked. Get a murder of crows on you, like they'd scratch you instantly. Oh, excuse me. Hence another reason to have a car though. The protection. But also you can get trapped in it. She look she doesn't look well. They're infected. Yeah. That's what's made them so hyper aggressive. I think we should be okay as long as I've taken out a few of their nests already. So I mean shouldn't be too big of a pain. Why are they here? Oh, is this where we learn why? As they were what? Trying to leave? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, I know I wasn't here. It's a security guard from earlier, is it not? 
like from in the flashbacks. Bang, bang, bang. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what would you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> and now it's been, what, two years? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. But I'm not surprised how fucking big your head is. Bang, 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 bang. Sorry, sorry. Booty, booty, booty. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when I have nothing to say. It's getting warm in here. Tim, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. I'm sorry. I don't know how you said the moon in here. Yeah. Someone's in here. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Let us in! Mm, is there another way in? Breaking the windows. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. It's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. So were you guys growing corn here before? And if so, why? Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I guess you Good shot. Have you done that before? Yes. Once or twice. Uh, so many loading screens. I don't know about this. Why should I be going in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten them past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let us in. Jim? Jim the Renicop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dang, up. That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since <sighs> Yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. I'm surprised she's remembered Sarah that. Irene. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Get down. Mother of fuck you, were saying. Yeah. This won't stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point of Yeah. Alert. Stay up here. Alert. Come very fire. Do whatever you can. Let's try. Have you when it's clear. Security personnel to the main. If you get a clear shot, you shoot those goddamn speakers. What Quick speakers? Stay. Fucking crazy. <laughs> With you, man. Hey, you! I don't we'll see another speak. Oh. Stop! I have clearance to be here. You can check the computer. My name is Sarah. Whitaker. They're all dead, Sarah. Shut up. It's clear. Skybridge, eh? Thank you. 
Ooh, some guns. Good to know. Where is he? Oh, yeah, probably up there. D, though. There you go. Are there more speakers I could be shooting out? Oh, there totally are. Probably like two in each room or some shit. Do your thing. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override, ID 2007659, override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overwritten. Shut the fuck up. They must not have locked out any security. You ready? Yeah. This time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. How about this? Let's just go in. Done. Shit. Snipers. They're on roof. Nice shot, lady. She's hurt. Oh no, she's just talking shit. I'm, not tired. I'm running Sarah low on Irene ammo. Two zero zero seven six five nine security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Shit! I got something in my eye. I was gonna shoot him in the back, Sam, but I got wait. something in my eye. Let's just keep going. They're waiting for us. It's warm. Yeah, they're waiting for us, so I'm gonna throw a fucking Molotov in there. Or a pipe bomb. How about that? Let's go. Come on, let's try the door. No shit. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Saying it again. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Huh. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Alert. Alert. Fucking bitch. Hey, so, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Yes. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Probably. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Go in from where? That's a really good plan. But now there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked up. Yeah. Shit. 
Okay. Put your hand on that reader. Yeah, what are you doing? Giving me security. They locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. Yeah. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID five four two nine zero zero nine. Got that? Sure. Five four two nine zero zero nine. Is that right? Yeah. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Yeah. Okay. No, really. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it. <laughs> Don't take any chances. Okay, go. I can't. How do I use it? St. John, ID five four two nine zero zero nine. Welcome to Cloverdale. Iron She's up there. Hurry up. Come on, get her. Damn it, she didn't listen to me. Here we go. Oh, the hell with you. You should have left when you had the chance. They're dead. Hey, asshole, I can see ya. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab this ammo right here. Yeah, fucked hard. No, it isn't. Where am I going? Oh, up. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Hands! Don't shoot Hands! Don't shoot him! Give up! Get up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, damn it, I said hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean. We we're just defending ourselves Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I know what you're doing. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. You didn't want that, did you? Just good times. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, no, no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. Shoot his ear. <laughs> he didn't even say anything. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jack. Yes, we know what we're doing. I'm 
well, that's a red flag. it was. You should have seen it when we first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Who's David what? Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're far and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone and he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just slow he wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next edward snowden don't know who see, that he is he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing david gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here I don't understand what you mean I pieced it together in myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. He knew it was coming. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't understand. It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> so. Not gonna lie, I totally saw that coming, but fuck, that's still a lot. Like, that would feel like shit being used like that, especially by the government, a job that you loved. Fuck. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric how many times? Uh, the power relays are in the building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um,. It's just that there's a lot of food here. I don't think about Raider and Bruiser letting him and Ricky letting Lost Leg Camp know. I think we could move on. Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright, All right, let's go shut off that fence. Where are we? Okay. Oh, we can't go any higher than this on the fucking map? Could I still go here? No, I don't think so. I mean, I saw a nest, so... Is it just the one nest? Ah, you fuck. Ah, fuck. Let me in. Nope. What's this? I'll take the bottles. That does it. Burn, you little bastards. Yes, this will do it. Ooh, gasoline.
Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Why are there just so many supplies? Ow, fuck you. Is there another nest or something I can take out? No. Fuck. I'm gonna start shooting you birds. Ah, fuck! How do I get it? Fuck you! Oh, there is another nest. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna burn down your homes. Ah, fuck. I just dropped my dab pen. Or my Yo Can Evolve Plus pen. That did it. I hear somebody walking. I was gonna run straight out of this door so that anything around me wouldn't like fucking touch me. Uh, Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Oh no. Okay. Is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. It is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you too. Listen, I don't. I got a lot of time. Uh. The, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike and the sense of it. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. That is... <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. <coughs> okay, Excuse good, me. listen up. Uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we hear from you, Kevin. I like saying you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot I need to sneeze. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Ricky? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay, uh, there's, uh, power, it's got electrical fences. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer, it's where Sarah used to work, uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food, you're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made kind of security. Are you kidding? Oh, really? Wow, that's great. Um, could you tell, you know what, listen, but you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Why is it snowing so hard all of a sudden? I know. I love that. I know. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, uh, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this is where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to... To... 
to to me? Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. I like how it's giving me a tip on how to fire my gun. Like, no shit. Aim and shoot. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, guys, I should should probably end this episode here. I want to see what's after this loading screen, though. If there's a speech, somebody's going to say something, I'll let it go for a little bit. Yeah, something's going to happen. I'll let it play. Man, maybe I shouldn't have kept the video going. <laughs> Well, that was sweet. The music still going into the loading screen. <laughs> I don't mind that. It's good music. Uh, and now it's over. Okay, guys. Well, I am going to end this episode now. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. This has been episode 20... Shit. 29 of Days Gone. Uh, catch back for episode 30 tomorrow. But I hope you guys liked it. So I'll see you guys later.